Another new law provides a boost for job seekers. It creates transparency by requiring employers to reveal the salary and job post. Jeff Todd joins us in Jefferson County tonight. And Jeff, employment experts are really praising this move. Karen, at most fast food restaurants around the metro area, you'll see a sign like this one saying that it's hiring with starting pay. Well, now that philosophy applies to all jobs in Colorado. The real reason behind this law is to make it more equal between genders, but it's going to have a big impact on job seekers as well. This is a significant change, and it is also something that is long overdue. Since the late 1990s, it's been Andrew Hudson's job to help other people find new jobs. His website shares information with thousands of people in Colorado about new opportunities each week. One of the biggest frustrations that I hear from job seekers all the time is that they look at the job posting and it looks like an exciting opportunity, but there's no way to tell how much the job pays. Now job postings are required to list a salary range and description of benefits. Job seekers are now gonna have that much more power and they're not gonna be wasting their time applying for jobs, not knowing what that salary is going to be. There's also requirements to tell current employees about promotion opportunities. Hudson says the past few months on his site, he has seen postings start to list salaries and in turn, companies say they're getting better candidates. It really is about fairness. This is about equity and it's about transparency. And all three of those things are, I believe, going to be good not only for the job applicant, but also for the employer as well. To start 2020, Colorado was near full employment. Now the unemployment rate is near six and a half percent. The new year is always a good time to be applying for a job anyway, but as we start to see the economy start to rebound, as we start to see jobs coming back, this is a really good time for this to be happening. Employers that don't comply can be fined up to $10,000. Another new law that starts today coming out of the pandemic, workers, even those part-time, can now get sick leave. Reporting live tonight, Jeff Todd covering Colorado First.